and welcome to my tutorial on my new LG top load washer and um, front load dryer. They both have a glass panel on the front and this one has a glass panel on the top. So I was going to show um, how they work and the features that go along with them. The reason why I went with a top load washer is because with a front load washer, you, if you forget something, like sometimes you're cleaning the kitchen and you forget, oh, I forgot to wash my kitchen hand towels. Um, with a, top, a front load, you can't pause it, throw in what you need, and then go on ahead about your washing. Um, because if you do try to open the door or stop it, it drains all the water out. And with this one, that does not happen. So this is a reason why I got these. I absolutely love them. And my friends that have the front load washers like this, um, better than the ones that they own. So I'm going to go on ahead and first show you with the washer. I already have clothes inside and the cat, he gets a kick out of uh, watching the stuff go around inside of it. Um, and you can see I have uh, laundry in there, but it is so much room in there. I could put a lot more. It is really, really big on the inside. It's very nice. So with that said, let's go on ahead and get to drying. So this is how you turn it on. This is uh, the on button. Whenever you turn it on, a nice little tune plays. <clears throat> and then it gives you your options. The buttons going across the front are the dry level, the temperature setting, the time dry on how long you want it to dry, um, the signal on how high you want the sound to be for whenever it stops it plays a tune instead of doing it a beep you can turn it off if you want to and then this is the cycles button which i use so with the cycles it goes on ahead and it presets all of your levels for you depending on what type of drying that you're going to do so the first one's cotton normal prim press speed dry freshen up now freshen up's really nice because if you have something that's wrinkled you can throw it in there on freshen up and 90% of the time it's going to get the wrinkles out for you. There's air dry, delicates, bulky bedding, heavy duty, and then back to cotton. For what I'm drying, I'm just going to go ahead and do it on normal cotton, which sets it at normal dry, medium temperature. It turns the time off because it presets the time for you. And um, I'm going to leave the signal on high because I like it because when it finishes, it plays a little song for you. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the push the start button. Now, with this dryer, you can go ahead and open up the door. Um, it does not lock in place. Oh, it does not lock in place. You can go ahead and, and open the door if you need to, and then throw it in, and then hit play again. Or you can hit the pause button. It stops, and then you can go ahead and put what you need in and push play again. There also is a child lock on this as well. And there is the smart diagnostic, which I'll get on the dryer, on the washing machine. Um, with this dryer, you also have different settings. You have a flow sense, which if your tubing that goes from the back of your dryer out the back of your house, it becomes clogged for any reason. The flow sense light starts blinking, letting you know that you need to clean out that tube or reattach it to the wall in case it become unattached. And also there's a check filter setting so that way if you throw laundry in there without checking the filter it will automatically tell you that you need to check that <coughs> excuse me um, while it's drying the drying light blinks and then um, it also has a cooling feature as well to cool off your laundry at the end of the of the uh, the drying process also this is a sensor dry unit so with the sensor dry unit it senses when the clothes are done. So even though this says that it's going to run for 40 minutes, whenever it detects that the clothes are dry enough, um, you know, to, uh, for a normal person, then it turns off the sensor dry. You can always add additional time to it if you want it to go longer, but I find the sensor dry is perfect. It does a perfect job every time. So on to the washing machine. The washing machine is absolutely gorgeous. The inside of the unit is beautiful. It is um, a huge tub. It's so big that I can fit in here eight towels um, or I can wash uh, about five pair of blue jeans at a time. It's, it's huge. It is so big on the inside. So um, over here you have your bleach 
and um, you have this tray here. It is an HE unit, so you do have to buy the HE detergent. Um, you open up the tray, which I've already pre-filled for this video. You have your detergent, and it has a max line, which you fill it up to the line. And then you have your softener on this side, which also has the max line right there. Um, so we're going to go on ahead and close this. And I'm going to throw in a couple of winter jackets, because here lately um, we're starting to get cold. So it would be a good idea to go on ahead and wash some jackets. And then um, you can see the jackets on the inside. I'm going to go on ahead and close the lid. And then we're going to turn the unit on. And then from here, it has the time. It has a load sensing, which I'll show you that in a moment. Wash, rinse, spin. Um, your buttons going across the front is the wash temperature. It has a soil level, speed dry. Uh, this is the signal, of course, again, on how, high, how loud you want it to be whenever the beeps go. Um, and then you have your cycles. Um, with this, you can also do a custom setting. This one right here, it has a little heart on it. Uh, you can set if you wanted to do your own custom setting of how you want your laundry done. Um, me personally, I don't need that. Um, the cycles are perfectly fine for me. So um, the cycles on this one are cotton normal, heavy duty, bulky bedding, tube, uh, tub clean, which will actually clean the inside of your tub, which you need to do about once a month with a cleaning tablet. Those are available at Walmart. Um, prim press casual, delicates, speed wash, and speed wash is really great because I have kids that are involved in sports and dance. So, you know, if it's, you know, a couple of hours before the baseball game, you realize you haven't washed the um, baseball uniforms yet, throw it in here, put it on speed wash, comes out clean every time. And then just throw it in the dryer. The dryer has a uh, freshen up and they have a speed dry. So it just gets it always, every time, easy out the door. So um, we're going to go on ahead, oh, and the last one is rinse and spin. We're going to go on ahead and set it on heavy duty because I think these jackets are a little normal, heavier than a normal wash, which goes ahead and sets the time and um, it's ready to go. So from here, we're going to go on ahead and press play. And then you heard it lock. Now the tub on the inside, it's going to start shaking. The reason why it's shaking is because it's sensing the load. You can see the, the top one is blinking, which said says load sensing. So let me try to stand still so you can see it. It shakes around on the inside. Then it starts spinning because it's trying to determine um, what's in the wash and also how much water to add to the wash. It does not want to add too much water. It only wants to add the amount of water that's needed for the clothes that you're washing. It's also balancing out the load for you so that way if you have young kids and they put everything on one side of the wash, the washer machine will automatically even everything out for you, um, you know, in case uh, you had everything accidentally piled up on one side because my kids help out with the laundry and sometimes they're not the best at it. So I'm glad I have this one because I don't have to worry about them not evening things out if they happen to be washing something bulky like their bed sheets. Um, it's a... Uh, a really nice unit it's really not that hard to get to know so while we're watching it bouncing balancing <laughs> I'm gonna go on ahead and talk to you about the this thing right here which is the smart diagnosis the smart diagnosis is if your if your machine for any reason ever airs out if it airs out where the time is that right now says 59 it'll say an error code if you happen to have lost your book and you no longer know what the error code is um, you can call into customer service for LG and um, hold your phone up to the dryer, press a button. It sends through a fax, a fax sounding signal to customer service, letting, and customer service can use that signal to translate what's going on with the washer and the dryer. So even if it's more complicated than just a basic code, they would be able to get that signal from the internal computer inside of this product and it would be able to tell you what's going on with it. So now it's getting a little steamy on the inside because it set it to warm and it's kind of cold outside today. 
so I just wanted to show you, let's say that I said, oh, you know, let me go on ahead and add another jacket to it. With this washer, I can go on ahead over here and I can press pause and you'll hear the locks on the lid unlock. You heard that? Okay, that's the lock. So we're gonna go on ahead and open it now. And then if I wanted to add something else to it, I could. You can notice there's already water in the bottom of the tub. So it did not have to drain it out in order for me to wash it. I'm going to go on ahead and close it again. And then it's still everything is still set the same. I did not have to re-add any detergent, any softener. And then I'm going to go ahead and press play again. And you heard it lock again. So it's now locked and it's going to resume its washing. And you can also see, if you can, it kind of slows down and starts wiggling a little bit to see if I added anything new and to see if it needs to rebalance anything. It's very nice, very futuristic. Absolutely love my LG washer and dryer. I recommend these products to anyone. It is not that hard to use. My kids are very used to it. Um, they are middle school students though. Um, so I, you know, I would not recommend having kids help you out with laundry that are, you know, younger than that. <laughs> you may want to stick with the laundry and for a little while longer doing it yourself until they get into middle school. But I think appropriate age to know how to use these systems would be about 10 and up. It shouldn't be harder for, especially kids nowadays that know how to use computers and all those good things. So this is my tutorial on my LG washer and dryer. I hope you enjoyed it. I do highly recommend these products. They're very nice. Um, see with the drying, it has now down to 33 minutes left. And you can see it goes by fast. And then here's another one. And this one now is down to 57 left. Um, the tub in the bottom is uh, now doing its washing cycle. It's shaking back and forth. Don't ever be alarmed if you use these products that you think it's not using enough water it knows how much water it needs to use. It is that smart. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you're thinking about buying these washers, LG top loader, washer and dryer, highly do recommend it. And I did not have to buy some silly expensive pedestals to set them on top of. <laughs> so thank you for watching and um, have a good day.